Plasma TV for $50. Maybe if you didn't have your mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> or a luxury car for a grand. This is the kind of dirt cheap bargain being offered by penny auction sites. <laughs> this full first car, worth more than $540,000, comes with all the bills paid for 12 months. We expect it to go for between $500 and $5,000. What a bargain. This is Murray Timms, and he's the CEO of ResiBids, and his site will soon become the first place Australians can chance their arm in a penny auction in the hope of getting themselves an apartment worth over half a million for not much. Sounds great, but what is a penny auction? To help explain, I'm going to insert my friend slash colleague Toby into a beautifully produced graphic to explain how they work. Let's meet Toby and a few hundred other people who wanted tickets to my stand-up show at the Comedy Festival this Saturday night. They can purchase a bid, which will cost them $1 in the real world and raise the overall cost of the tickets on the site by one cent. The bidders are up against a countdown clock. But unlike, say, eBay, there is no fixed end, as each new bid adds time to the countdown. When people stop bidding, the clock eventually runs to zero and the last lucky bidder wins. In this case, Toby was the final bidder, with the final price being $2.39. Being the winner, if Toby made five bids in the auction process, he's up for $5 plus the final amount of the tickets, so a total of $7.39. So he will now enjoy one of the greatest nights of comedy in his life. Enjoy the show, Toby. Thanks, Pete. <clears throat> Mr. Elliot. <laughs> and have a shave. Given the final price was $2.39, that means there were 239 bids placed. And at $1 a bid, bidders paid a combined $239 to the penny auction site for a ticket worth about 40 bucks. So if ResiBids manages to sell a half a million dollar apartment and apply the same principles, they stand to make a bit of money. Everybody other than ResiBids and I'll go so far to say everybody else in the world is selling small ticket items. On ResiBids, our stock items, well, they're worth $500,000. ResiBids might have the big ticket item, but they're not the only players in Australia. Over the last year, One Cent Flights claim they have delivered over a million dollars worth of flights. Just this week, we had someone flying to Bali for $2.28, a new user, which is always fun to see. Jessica Moulton gave One Cent Flights a go last year after a mate recommended it. My first auction, I paid just over $4 for it, uh, and I got a flight to Hamburg with it. Despite the Australian Communications and Media Authority finding the sites don't qualify as gambling. Experts say the tactics are similar. But Murray says resi bids will cap the amount of bidders and will also limit the number of bids they can buy. So is there a catch to this whole penny auction idea? Um, is there a catch? Not really. Um, it's not a lottery. It's not a lucky dip. It is a game of skill. 